the law of conservation of mass. In every chemical reaction, the chemical substances react to form new products. The French chemist Antoine Laurent Lavoisier proved that in all chemical reactions, the mass of the substances produced after a chemical reaction is equal to the mass of the reacting substances. Then he proposed a law known as law of conservation of mass. The law says that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. The law also tells us that the number of atoms after a chemical reaction will always be the same as the number before the reaction. Our aim here is to verify the law of conservation of mass during a chemical reaction. Materials required Sodium sulphate solution, barium chloride solution, measuring cylinders, 10 ml test tube, thread, 250 ml conical flask, cork and an electronic balance. Procedure Take the beaker containing sodium sulphate solution. Pour 5 ml of sodium sulphate solution into the measuring cylinder. Transfer it into a 250 ml conical flask. Now, take the beaker containing barium chloride solution. Pour 5 ml of barium chloride solution into a measuring jar. Transfer it into a 10 ml test tube. Take a thread. Tie the test tube using the thread. Hang the test tube in the conical flask carefully so that the solutions do not mix with each other. Take a cork and put the cork on the mouth of the flask so that the thread holding the test tube is held firmly in place. Take the conical flask and carefully weigh the flask on an electronic balance with all the contents ensuring that the solutions do not mix and note the reading. Take the flask from the balance, tilt it and swirl the flask so that the barium chloride solution in the test tube spills and mixes with sodium sulphate solution in the flask and forms a white colored precipitate of barium sulphate BASO4 and an aqueous solution of sodium chloride NaCl. Wait for 10 minutes to complete the reaction. Take the flask and weigh the contents of the flask again and note down the reading. It will be observed that the total mass of the reactants is equal to the total mass of the products. Hence, the law of conservation of mass is verified. Precautions When setting up the apparatus and while taking the first reading of the total mass of apparatus and reactants, care must be taken that the barium chloride solution in the test tube does not spill and mix with the sodium sulphate solution in the conical flask. To start the chemical reaction, tilt and swirl the flask well so that the barium chloride solution in the test tube spills and mixes with sodium sulphate solution in the flask.